So the Cincinnati Masters is about to start in the next day or so. It's going to be a big tournament, of course. A lot of players haven't played on hard court since March. Some of them didn't play, of course, last week in Canada. So Cincinnati's their last chance to get some form. But there are some players that are not playing, some big names on both the men and the women's side. Let's start on the WTA side because the list is long. Starting with Castella, she's pulled out. Collins is also out due to injury, so hopefully she can play the US Open in a couple weeks' time. Garcia is also out. Ons Jabur, she's the latest to withdraw. Not sure exactly why she's pulled out of Cincinnati, but was pretty disappointing last week when she lost in the first round of Canada, so not the greatest preparations for the US Open. Keys is out. She got injured in Canada, so unfortunately she won't be able to play, and she'll go to the US Open with some injuries. Krajikov is also injured, so the Wimbledon champion going to the US Open with no hard court form and possibly an injury. Kudamatova is also out. Zachary also injured. She's not going to be there. And Von Drusova is also not playing. So some really big names there on the women's side and some real contenders for these kind of tournaments. A lot of top 10 players as well that are not going to be at this event. Go over the men's side of things now. Shorter list at the moment with Bublik, of course, not going to be playing. Dimonor, he's still dealing with the hip injury that he got at Wimbledon. Djokovic, he's just celebrating his gold medal. He'll go to the US Open though with no matches on hard court since March. So that'll be really interesting to see how he does. And Cam Norrie also pulling out of this one. So you have it. Big names there on the, both the men and women's side. And like I said, it's the last real preparations for the US Open. And of course, with the Olympics, it's just thrown everything to chaos. Of course, Canada last week was really has, has been random. A lot of upsets happening early on. This week in Cincinnati, some big names are not playing. There is one or two tournaments before the US Open in the week leading up, but nobody wants to play before the US Open because you don't want to you know get injured in that first week before the tournament. So... We'll see what happens next week and see how many of these players actually show up next week. But let me know in the comments below. Who are you going to miss the most in Cincinnati? It's a shame that we don't get to see Djokovic play. And I guess the thing is, will he actually play the US Open considering that he hasn't played any hardcore tennis and he does still have that knee problem. So we'll see whether or not Djokovic actually shows up to the US Open, not just missing out on these tournaments. But there it is. Massive list. The Cincinnati starts tomorrow.